All right, today is the big day, the 2023 PlayStation Showcase. Here's uh, my reactions and also impressions once the event is over, but been a long time coming, let's get this started. I just wanna be surprised, I think, is the big thing for me. Since I think there's so much here that we have a good idea of of what's going to pop up, right? But I, I want to be surprised. Going to be taking notes again, too. So if you hear keyboard and mouse clicks, nothing I can do, but just have to get this stuff prepared. And also, I might be checking Twitter and stuff, too. Oh, uh, starting off with PlayStation Studios. Haven! We're getting Haven's game! Let's go! <laughs> Well, it's a cinematic trailer, so I'm not sure there's much we can really glean from this outside of what they're going for here. Which appears to be some sort of heist game. Fair game. Fair games. Okay, interesting. Coming to PS5 and PC. Live service. Nice that we saw Haven. Can't really say much for what is a cinematic trailer, but... That isn't necessarily, like, uh, family-friendly, which I think was the only running theory we had about what that game might be. Hi, everyone. Jimmy! I'm Ryan, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Hello, Jimothy. I'm delighted it doesn't come. This has got to be, uh, Helldivers 2, right? Helldivers 2! Show some gameplay, though. There we go. Yeah, this looks... Nothing like the first game, obviously. It's third person. Alright. This year. Yeah, that game was apparently supposed to come out by the first quarter of... What was it? Last year, right? I don't know. Something. Something like that. But... Looks cool. Oh, what's the name of this game? I forgot what it's called. I think we've seen this before. Immortals of Avium, yeah. That's like the second time we've seen this game, right? Kind of, like, not generic looking, but... I don't know, I always like that first-person view with sort of crazy, supernatural, Bioshock-looking things. 505! This would be... what do you call it? What's the name of this game? Am I why is why am I blanking on it? I have it on my shelf. Got it on PS5 and Series X. Yeah, this. It's the second one. It's fun but frustrating. This game you can get lost in this game. Ghost Runner, that's what it's called. Ghost Runner 2. Alright. What is this? Just run away. Whatever this is, they've got a lot to show for it. And I am digging it. What the? F <laughs> this looks awesome. Phantom Blade Zero. I, I I like when we get a game reveal and we see so much gameplay right off the top. That's already like the most impressive thing we've seen so far. Hey. How typical is it that, like, right away I'm like, okay, so we've got, like, a Journey, that game company type thing going on? Giant Squid, yeah. Where's Goodbye Volcano High? Come on. Sick of this shit. That game was announced more than two years ago. Alright, I'll take this instead. Gris was beautiful. I didn't really get a, get a chance to say much about it. That was in the 30 Platinums Part 2 video that I played it. Why, why, I, we don't, I don't, I don't need to see this right now. <clears throat> I'm not emotionally ready for this. Oh, let's get hype. It's over. Showcase is done. Cat Quest? Pirates of the Parib, oh my God. We're done. We're actually done. Oh my lord, this is wonderful. Perfect. It's actually perfect. Oh, Square Enix. 
okay, so like it's Fortnite, but Splatoon, but it's gonna play like Knockout City. Was that the elevator pitch for this game? Foam stars. I'll just stay quiet. Ooh, Plucky Squire. This game looks so cool. Welcome. No gameplay, boo. Alright, never mind. I like ants. The Circle of Life, the video game? What's going on here? <laughs> that's that's how they did this <laughs> wow what a uh, interesting way to introduce the game <laughs> uh that's that was uh cool there's the metal gear solid 3 remake uh john was right they dropped the three i'm so mad that they did that <laughs> Ah, there it is. The Master Collection Volume 1. All right. And it comes with MGS3 again, so that's probably just resolution bump or something. It's got to suck for the game that comes after that, that comes after Metal Gear Solid. Because I feel like people aren't really going to be paying attention to this. Towers of... What? I cannot believe they are showing Final Fantasy 16 again. We don't need any more of this game. You have you have shown so much. I feel like I've played it already. That's not true, but I mean, Square just goes nuts. Live streams left and right, multiple trailers, a state of play. I'm sold. Twitter already starting with their MGS4 thing. MGS4 trapped on PS3. Some men just want to watch the world burn. And in this case, I guess I'll join in. Keep the game trapped on PlayStation 3 forever. Let it happen. Let the console have something. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Volume 1, by the way, too. I mean, it does say Volume 1, so there's, there's probably more coming. Which leaves room for MGS4. I feel like that would not be part of a collection, though. I feel like that would kind of warrant its own its own thing, especially given the work that, uh, the work that would probably be required for it. Oh, is this Alan Wake 2? Yeah, I was hoping it would be here. It was either going to be here or Summer Games Fest. <laughs> look at it. Look at uh, Sam Lake. He looks good. Just looks, looks just like him. Like, really just like him. This game looks gorgeous. Ah, oh, this game This game is a vibe. Am I, am I, am I going to be able to play this? Tight. Oh, we got a release date, October 17th. Is that the first release date we got out of this thing? Oh, Assassin's Creed. Not an Assassin's Creed person, so... I mean, I'm sure I might like some of the newer games, but... You just kind of make your peace with not playing certain franchises. Oh! What? Uh, hello? Wh what am I watching here? What happened to Night in the Woods? Has society regressed? Are the animals no longer talking for themselves? Revenant Hill. Alright, well, I'm on board. Where do I sign? I would like to take this time to say that there is excellent cat representation in this showcase. Cats and dog. We're getting dangerously close to where... We're gonna need more PlayStation Studio trailers. Don't play this game on Psychedelics, my god. Capcom. <coughs> What is this? Oh, Dragon's Dogma. Two. Oh my. Well, well, well. I never played the first one. I would probably like it. Although I was never really in a rush to play it. Hey, PlayStation VR 2. 
I was wondering when these trailers were going to start. We still needed room for this. Ah, RE4. Crossfire Sierra Squad. Oh, we already saw that one before. No release, no nothing, just a new trailer. And if that's it for PSVR 2, that's disappointing. End Dreams. Oh, this game. This was already announced too, wasn't it? Synapse, that's what it's called. RIP streamers that probably saw Beat Saber and immediately had to mute the stream. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. This song is used for the intro of SingStar Volume 2 on PlayStation 3. Oh, it's out now. A right, nice little shadow drop for PSVR 2 owners. Bungie. Now owned by Sony, but anything Bungie does, that's going to every platform. Well, bar Nintendo, but we can expect this on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Did we really not? Are we done with PSVR 2 stuff? Because I'm really surprised if we did not get Firewall Ultra. I was fully expecting a release date for that. All right, we're back with the PlayStation Studio announcements, and we're getting Firewalk's game. Excellent stuff. Concord? Okay. Well, that showed us, like, nothing. But coming 2024 for PS5 and PC. Okay. We didn't see, like, anything. Well, those were two recently acquired studios that we now know kind of what they're doing, but they both got cinema, uh, cinematic trailers, so there's really not much to go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A PlayStation Productions trailer. Okay, that that Sony that the Sony synergy, right? We got to show the trailer during the showcase. We're gonna have a lot of eyes on this thing. Before we get into our final game, I have a few announcements to share. At PlayStation, innovation is our passion, and that applies to not just what games you play, but how you play them. Later this year, we will launch a dedicated device that enables you to stream any game from your PS5 console using remote play or the wire. Uh -huh. Internally the known Q light. as Q, it has an 8-inch HD screen and all of the buttons and features of the DualSense wireless controller. That thing straight up looks like a DualSense cut in half. In the near future. I'm also pleased to reveal our first ever PlayStation earbuds, hmm. which will bring next generation... Yeah, so they are announcing all the accessories. I figured that was a maybe here. I did not think they were going to end off on... Well, I was going to say Spider-Man 2. But then I'm like, wait a minute, we haven't seen The Last of Us multiplayer yet. So... Which one are we getting here? I'm surprised that they ended on Spider-Man 2 and know The Last of Us multiplayer. I know the trailer is still going, but like I'm I'm already like really blown away that we're not getting Last of Us. What what is going on with that game? No way are we we're actually not seeing it. Oh. That is sweet. Awesome. I like how they they started right away. Uh, they started off right away, not in Manhattan. So it already feels much, much different. Switch to Miles. That's cool. Wow! Look at the game. Hey, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> this game looks so so fun. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. He 
was never like that. Ugh. Already feeling that the tension that game is going this game's gonna have. That looked so good. Are we gonna get a release date? Or are we saving that for later? Yeah, fall 2020. I'll do that later on the PS blog probably. Where they detail all the uh pre-order stuff. I'm really surprised that we didn't... S There's a few things we didn't see. Stellar Blade, Silent Hill 2, Firewall Ultra, and more, most notably The Last of Us multiplayer. Although, I, I, think, I, I think since it wasn't here, maybe that's Summer Games Fest, considering the last time we, we had an update for that was... Uh, was at the uh, the previous one. Or no, that was the Game Awards. Either way, Jeff Keighley event, so perhaps they'll show up there. Uh, gut reaction. Well, my idea of good is always is seemingly different from what everyone else thinks. I feel like most people are probably going to give this show a hard time. Before I even look up, you know, what people are saying, I feel like that's going to be the consensus because there were a lot of high expectations for this show. And I f feel as though it was not, it did not deliver. Uh, having said that, I think it was good. I think there's a lot of great stuff in there. Uh, a lot of cinematic trailers for studios that... You know, like, I think I said it before, they're not going to shy away from, like, these teasers that give us very little except, uh, well, pretty much that, you know, cinematic trailer and then also a, a title. So we did get a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I think that's, it's fair to say that was, like, not even close to, what, the, uh, I guess the, the benchmark here is, like, Sony's E3 2015, 2016, those were really strong sh uh, strong shows. This was like, uh, what, comparable to, I don't know, like last year wasn't the worst thing in the world, or not last year, 2021 wasn't the worst thing in the world. I'm curious as to, because my immediate thought is that, okay, they wanted to apparently do this last year in the same September time slot, but but couldn't because their teams weren't ready. Uh, a lot of developers just weren't ready to talk or showcase anything, right? So, you know, if that's the case, and so that's why we got one now in May, uh, then does that mean we have something else coming for this year? So do, do they want to keep doing this September thing every year? And so we might have another big live stream before the year closes out. Uh, and bear in mind, there's still, um, you know, like state of plays that Sony can always do, which it's weird. Those have a, a wide range of being, you know, incredibly disappointing to also being way better than some were thinking. Um, so there can always be those that fill in the, the, the gaps throughout the year. And then Summer Games Fest. So again, like the Last of Us multiplayer, I thought for sure was going to be here and that was not. So maybe we only have to wait a few weeks until we see that. Uh, but yeah, it's like this was not very good when you consider that this should have been a lot bigger. Uh, and this is where I always tend to defer, right? Because, you know, my immediate thought is like, well, you know, that, that was still a good collection of trailers and games, but I just, I always like seeing that stuff. So that's where I always defer. I will fully admit, you know, uh, if there is a, if the general reaction to this thing is going to be, going to be harsh and, and bad, which I assume it is, and uh, I can see that being justified, but that's where I tend to differ with these things. But yeah, I... I I, I think this is uh, something where we're going to have to do a bit more waiting for what should have been uh, a lot of announcements from PlayStation Studios, right? We only had, what, three three of them? Three or four? So and one of them we knew was going to be here. That would be Spider-Man 2. Uh, a lot of pre-rendered, you know, cinematic trailers with just a, a title. But, you know, that was something in my predictions video. It's like we're, we're going to see some of that stuff. Uh, and that also means those games are, are now going to be like 
MIA, uh, MIA for a long time, like another year and a half, two years before we see them again. Assuming Sony wants to give them, you know, put the name out there, but then let them sit for a long time. And then the next time we hear them is when they're going to be much closer to being done. So with Haven and Firewalk, I assume, you know, we know what they are in theory, but like not really. Uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, I, it would have been nice to have maybe just a little bit more, but I guess I'll, I'll leave it there, right? So this is definitely one of those things where, you know, sound off in the comments. I'll be uh, keeping a close eye on them and doing a lot of reading, but um, I'll just whip this up and get this uploaded to the channel as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't just yet, please consider subscribing for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan, and that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.